got to say, Bandit was an absolute blast. Uh, I didn't know what to expect going in, and I, I truly had a, a great time with the film. Uh, Alicia, I'll start with you, and then Josh. What mm. about the film really caught both of your interests to want to be a part of it? Well, this, the script was really interesting, and then to dive into the actual research of it all, it was, you know, obviously a true story, which kind of blew my mind. I, I had no idea about um, Gilbert, and so going through all the interviews that he had done and being Canadian and it, you know, it all sort of taking place in Canada was super intriguing to me and to get to play an actual person, a real life person, I had not been able to do that. So that was another layer to it. So yeah, but it was, a, it, the script was fantastic. And to work with this guy, obviously he's amazing. So we had fun. We had yeah. so much fun. Well, I'd, know, I'd known her for a long time and, right. and I always thought she was just a badass. And so it was, it was, it was perfect. We just yeah. had the best yeah. what, what, month and a half. Yeah, it was great. Uh, that's awesome. So what was it then like? I mean, you, you've known each other for a while, but what was it then like developing the rapport with one another uh, off camera before beginning filming? Well, there wasn't a lot of it because she really is just a, such an easy person to get along with. And I'm not just saying that because she's sitting right here. But <laughs> she really isn't. It's, it was like super easy. We, yeah. There's no... There's no affectation there's nothing is it's just like she shows up she's great in the scenes easy to connect with um and funny and uh i felt like i could just i could throw anything at her and she'd come right back with me with with something better awesome. and so uh i that part of it was was really really fun i really was drawn to the characters that i got to sort of embody in these disguises that he would put on uh all that stuff was it just felt like it was going to be a really fun movie to make. And it was a movie that had uh, real pathos to it. And I just felt like that was why I wanted to do it. You know, it's, you just, you just read something, you, you, you spark to it or yeah. you don't. And I sparked to this and I'm really glad that Alan Unger created a movie that, that we're very happy with. Mm -hmm. So what was it then like, uh, or did you have a favorite fake character to get to embody uh, of all the ones in that montage that you have? You know, it, you put these things on. I mean, we'd go, we did a few sort of makeup tests beforehand. So we kind of knew what we we're going to wear. But until they put that nose on and everything is done and the mat mustache or the beard or the hat and the wig or the, the suit, changes something everything. changes you. There's something that happens where your voice changes a little bit or you have a lisp or you have an accent or you have a limp. I don't know. It's something happens to me at least. And it was really fun because I'd be sitting there for an hour while they do this. And I'd be looking at myself and I'd be like, this guy's, <laughs> it's clearly French. He wasn't French in the script, right. but it was like this, it was these fun sort of people that sort of come up, bubble up to the surface as you get into these disguises. So uh, Alicia, I know that I don't, recall you having much screen time with him in disguises outside of the firefighter suit but i mean what was it like which was, which your... was clearly my favorite <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it was a great time <laughs> oh, um, gosh. but yeah what was your it first was so reaction? funny it was funny to see like even in, even when you would go into the hair and makeup trailer you would all the prosthetics were neatly placed on these like boards in front um on, on, yeah. like styrofoam head mannequins yeah so it was it, i i, I kind of got to see every day when i would go into hair and makeup all his identities but but then to see uh, you know there was a lot of times where i would just go and and sort of watch and i may not have been in the scene per se but maybe, you know, later in the day, but I would, I was definitely checking out some of those, you know, funnier scenes. And I, I just couldn't believe how uh, fun it, it, it all seemed, you know, um, and how he was sort of bringing Gilbert to life in, in this really playful and charismatic kind of way. It was, you couldn't keep your eyes off of him on screen. It was really, it's a, just such a great performance by oh, Josh. Very sweet. It is. You know, you know what else we would do is I would sit there after work, except sometimes we'd rap for the day and I'd still be in this full getup. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, 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 I'm leaving this on. I'm going to take the, I'll, be, I'll bring the wardrobe back tomorrow. And I would just go walk around Thomasville, Georgia as oh, whatever cool. character I was in that day. And it was so fun. I'd walk into restaurants that I've frequented, like and no a one place across the street from where I lived yeah. that they knew me. I was there almost every day. And I walk in in this outfit, in this getup, and they had no idea. And I'd leave, and they never knew. Wow. It was so much fun. <laughs> That's a true testament to the, the hair and makeup as much as uh, to, to yourself. To I could have robbed the bank, actually. Nobody would have known. 
<laughs> well, I, I guess uh, that'll be your, your little secret. 